Once upon a time, Jake Cavendish traveled from the cold shoulder of Scotland to the baking heart of America to find his love. Welcome everybody to another Navy Stars review. This time a little indie movie. I love indie movies. But this time it's another great little movie that I actually liked a lot. I enjoyed it. I might put that up there as one of my favorite movies. But it's Slow West with Michael Fassbender, Cody Spick McPhee, and Ben Mendelsohn. I can never say his name and I like him I like, I like him a lot as a fucking actor. I forget his name. But I'm Ben Mendelsohn from the terrible Ryan Gosley Lost River and Bloodline, Netflix Blood, Bloodline. Michael Fassbender from Magneto and um, the counselor, and uh, according to Smith McPhee from Hugo, pretty much stolen, and Ender's Game. There we go. Uh, Slow West is about Cody Smith McPhee character Jay, who he is drifting uh, across the country. He is a uh, uh, not British. He's a it's not Irish. He's a Australian. I believe he's Australian. I forgot. Uh, I forgot where it was. And I like the movie a lot. I fucking forgot. Anyways, he is drifting because his love of his life rose, left flee with his father to across the country, and he has decided to go find her. And along the way, he finds himself into a bounty hunter, bounty hunter by Michael Fassbender. So they both they team up to go on a journey to go find them. Little does Jay know is that Michael Fassbender. Well, giving away too much. Michael Fassbender is out looking for Rose too. Rose and her father because of a crime they committed because of something they they are worth for a reward, and along the way they have to also find a way against a battle of other ba- bounty hunters by Ben Mendelsohn. Here's the thing: when you see the preview for this movie, um, the preview kind of misleads us a little bit because it seems like a Wes Anderson, uh, Paul Thomas Anderson, mm-hmm, um, Western. It's not that. It's not that. It is a it's slow west. It is a slow western movie, but with great cinematography because it's one of the movies with the colors. If a character has a bright yellow jacket, it's gonna bright out. If the house is bright, it's gonna bright out. If the shoes of the guy is gonna bright fucking out, you know. If whatever, you know, if they're inside of a room, the wood is gonna bright out. It's one of the movies where it brights out and it makes it interesting, it makes it visually stunning. And the story is kind of drifted because Jay, you feel like he's kind of like, why should he just go and find her? You know, maybe she didn't. For, maybe she don't remember him. Maybe she left for a reason. Also, you feel bad for Jay. And the other thing, I mean, there is action. There is some shootouts. I feel like the action. There are some points where they pull away from when they shouldn't. But they want to be kind of artsy with it. But I like it still to the point where the aftermath of what happened. What they show after kind of shows it. But the movie's like if they point that gun and they shoot it. The guy, they just show the guy, the, his shadow fall down. And then a couple minutes later, they'll show him his body. You know, it's one of those type of movies. But I like it and enjoyed it a lot. It's probably most... It's any movie that I like. As much as I like... I like it in the same way... Of, which Alex of Venice I really liked a lot, in which I think is a great movie in this level. Um, I believe there's a one-time director, but Michael Fassbender is doing. I think he's a great. He's a great. He did a great job in this one. I really liked his uh, character in this one. It's a bounty hunter. It's feel. It's probably one of those westerns that I feel like people kind of thought the trailers mislead it, but it is a typical western movie. It's a typical western story, and I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really uh. I I really I think it had some funny moments and it was really interesting. It really got me on edge, and the ending. Eh, I wasn't so happy about the ending, but it was one of the movies where like it's an okay because of what the stuff that they show leading to that. It makes it feel like okay, you're safe because it's done. It's done well, you know. It's done right, and I think it's a great, it's an entertaining movie, and I hope you guys should see it. And the only thing I can tell you, if, if I have to give you a rating to see it, I would probably say. It's it's on VOD. It came out on VOD, and I think it should be seen on VOD. It's on VOD. Go watch it on Netflix or VOD. However, you see it. If once it comes out on Netflix or video on demand, and if I really have to like, if I'm to say, it's probably it's a it's a great movie. It's a really great movie. It's entertaining. It's slow though, but it's a really great entertaining movie. It's not as slow as Maggie. This picks up with the action, the killing, and. You know, and there are some scenes where it's uh, there are some cheap stuff, but you can see that the production is really valuable and it really is where it's limited also, but it's limited to a point where like okay, but let's tell a little bit more of the story, you know, and not just so much of the 
you know, the action, we're going to try our best to make it seem okay, you know, and I really enjoyed it, I probably think it is one, probably one of my favorite movies of the year, if I keep, if I see it again, hopefully, you know, if there's nothing else great, so I'll shine it, I probably will forget about it later in the year, but, it, that's all I really have to say about, um, Slow West, I would say watch it on BOD, or watch it on, it's, uh, just rent it, I'll say however you get it, just rent it. If you like it, you should buy it. It's, for me, it's a great movie. Hope you guys really enjoyed this review. Hope you guys go see Mad Max. And hope you guys rent uh, Slow West. You know, if you're into the Western movie, you're into that type of color, new indie wave uh, Western movie, go watch it. It's entertaining. Don't go see Pitch Perfect because I really didn't like that movie. But go watch my reviews. And if you are listening to this on SoundCloud, you could watch the same audio review on YouTube. And if you are watching this on YouTube, you could go listen to the same one on SoundCloud if you don't have time to look at a screen. I hope you guys have a good time. Go go like, subscribe, listen to the SoundCloud if you want to. You know? Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.